What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. Today, we're going to be talking about the NFL playoffs, players, uh, your free 95 overall player, how we're going to go ahead and get that, plus free mutt coins. Also, you're going to be able to start to complete sets. Um, for those of you guys that are worried about the Steve Smith Sr., uh, the master set of the playoffs, he is not yet available. But what is available is something that we looked at uh, live on stream earlier today on Twitch. Um, we have a way that we're going to utilize some of the nets that we have to make coins right now as far as the NFL players go. Um, I will be getting more in-depth with this, but this is the only set that's available right now. So as far as your free player goes, we're going to go ahead and tackle that. Uh, we'll get to this later. That's more of like a no money spent uh, money making uh, method, pretty much utilizing the Nats that I've been going along with you guys to go ahead and get sets done with like zero chill and sets prior to that where you can get Nats back. And then now it's going to be time to make a lot of coins, uh, which we did earlier during the stream. Uh, most of you guys are already subscribed to G Myers World Gaming right here on YouTube. So you'll be able to see exactly what happened. But I will definitely come back later on and give you some more information about the coin making methods that's going to get you guys into some really elite status. Now, you guys are here because you want to know, listen, Jumai, what's up? What's up with this free 95 you're talking about? How hard is it to get? How time consuming is it? What is EA doing this time? Well, pretty much when you first log in, you're going to get an NFL playoffs welcome pack, right? So once you go ahead and open this up, um, this is of no interest to me at all. Um, it is a Steve Smith Sr. It lets you pretty much know what's going on with it. It's just like a card if you wanted to go ahead and see what was up with him. For those of you guys that are asking, he's 5'9". He's not mossing anyone. Um, he's probably going to be useful, uh, his 97 overall card, simply because he's going to be able to unlock four ability slots because he'll go to a 98 with the power up so that's going to be the only unique thing about him but as a slot guy he's going to be pretty good anything else outside of that i would not put this guy on the outside obviously in real life he was a really really strong and you know being undersized didn't matter to him he was out there dominating dudes but in madden he won't be able to jump and go up and get it uh based on his stature and everything else that goes on with him so if you wanted to use him in the slot that's fine if you're not into mossing he would definitely be a guy that can run those posts uh those corners and stuff like that he's gonna have excellent route running uh but i just wanted to give you guys some insight into that so you more or less understand exactly what's going on but for me i have no use for him so we're gonna go ahead and go and get that 225 training all right we could just quick sell him not a big deal the next thing that comes in with it right we'll take a look inside the store to see what else is going on as far as uh the playoffs but it looked like to me earlier that they were more focused on you spending money so for those of you guys that are no money spent this is probably not for you they do have some like this one looks pretty nice if you were looking to kind of you know dabble and see your team's kind of garbage that type of thing that looks pretty nice this right here you know uh you know what i'm saying but let's what is coming in this 10 elite packs a top of 288 elite 95 overall fantasy flat containing nfl okay so this you you could pretty much make a decent amount of coin uh off this pack but it's a hundred dollars i'm not really for that this right here you have you know a chance to get certain things but that this bundle right here you can make a lot of currency again do you want to spend the money this is guaranteed like from that fantasy pack at least 600k if you pick the right uh nfl playoff uh player so it's not like it's a gamble the other cards would be gambles but you get something guaranteed is that worth a hundred dollars i'm not gonna say yes because i'm not doing it so i'm not i'm not the kind of guy that's gonna count in your pockets like i'm not doing it if you guys want to go ahead and do it have at it okay they got the team standout fantasy bundle um you get contains 192 overall team standout player fantasy pack and a topper of 185 plus do you want to spend 1500 points um if that's something that you want to kind of upgrade let's say for so, say for instance uh dk metcalf some of you guys are seahawk theme teams he's gonna be listen he's a monster but i don't want him because his ability points two for deep out is too much too rich for my blood i can't do it but if you're already vested in your seattle seahawk theme team go for it you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, see what happens. But I'm not going to tell you, oh, yeah, definitely. Like, I'm not doing that. I'll, all I can tell you, like for certain, is that this this pack right here, you're guaranteed at least 600K. Because I did the set that I just showed you earlier live on stream, and I made about 600. So you guys can do what you want. Uh, let me know how it works out. But I would not spend the money. I would just get a 95 nat, build your team that way, start to utilize the other free cards that you have and um use the other exchange sets to get some other cards made which i like i said before i will go over with you guys um 
more specifically to get you guys up and running with it. But most of you guys already understand it, but you still support the channel and I appreciate you guys for doing such. All right, so look, when you look at the, uh, the NFL playoff celebration, the milestones, you have two sections and two sequences, right? Playoff celebration, maybe next year. So when you look at this right here, you're gonna see 60 stars is gonna get you that 95 overall Nat NFL playoffs player. All right, so you're gonna get a free 95 overall from just playing these challenges and getting 60 stars worth of stuff, okay? Now, is that gonna be something that, um, you know, more or less is like really, really good? Is it something that, you know, is gonna be able to make your team better? I would tell you this, there are some of those cards that if you power up the right one, you're gonna be able to make your team better. That free safety from the Saints, he's actually pretty good. That's the guy that I completed and I sold. Um, so for those of you guys that are asking about it, yeah, it's it's something that you will definitely be able to um, use to upgrade your team. And to give you an idea of what the what the games are like, pass a 45 yards and score a TD. Now it's on pro and it's competitive. So I just want to point that out because a lot of you guys are like, yo, Jemiah, bro, some of these challenges are hard. I told you guys, the computer is very, very simple. You run double A gap mid blitz. And then from there, you just go ahead and do whatever else you want. Oh, SpongeBob is in the yard, by the way. If you guys are into the yard, it's so funny that we've been talking about SpongeBob G-strings for all this time, and now they bring them into the game. It's hilarious. But that's not what this is about. What this is about is making sure that you guys get what you need from this video. And pretty much these challenges look relatively simple. So because it's on pro, right, and most of your teams are OP, you will be able to just throw the ball and it, it doesn't really matter. Most of the time you won't have issues, right? So I don't want to say that um, for any for any stretch of the imagination that this is difficult. This is the Dallas Cowboys. And I'm about to make Dallas Cowboy fans really upset. Your team sucks. So you should be able to come out here, throw a deep pass. And by the way, a lot of you guys already have that moss that you got free from the 50. Use them. Bring them out there, do this kind of stuff, get it done. For the most part, a lot of the challenges are like that. You should be able to quickly go through it, throw a streak. It's on pro, guys. I don't really see much more issues with it. Let me get, let, let's, take a, let's take a look at the next challenge. Complete 12 passes in the second quarter. See, this kind of stuff, um, you know, it's a little bit more involved. So, you know, it's still um, objective-wise, so it shouldn't be that crazy. And you can see that uh, in order to get the four stars that you would have to score a touchdown, but you got to get the 12 uh, passes first. But it's, it's very, very, like you know, minimal work that's needed. So you guys should be able to go out there and handle that with no problem. Obviously you see you get coins after certain parts of it. So, you know, running through it real quick, most people during my stream completed it and they were done with it within like 45 minutes to an hour. So 45 minutes to an hour for a 95 overall free card, you know, you know, come on guys, like you should be able to go ahead and handle that out. Um, I wouldn't do everything though. Once you get your 60, stop there because series four is coming next week. And we'll be talking about that as well, um, you know, very, very soon. So now that you see that and that's what's going on, um, that's all fine and well. Let's take a look at some of the players and, you know, give you more or less an understanding of what the players are. Uh, the top player that many people are raging about is DK Metcalf because he's been fast. He's been good for a long part of the season. Many of us have actually used this card. So we understand uh, that he's a pretty decent card. The problem is you're not topping Moss or uh, Jerry Rice. And this is one of those first years where I'm actually using Jerry Rice and I'm enjoying the card. So kudos to Madden for being able to do that because if it weren't for the archetypes, we wouldn't be using Jerry Rice. So that's a very, very good thing on their, uh, you know, on their point of view and what they've been trying to do for the game. So looking at the overalls, you'll see DK Metcalf. Now he's down to the 500s. Earlier, somebody bought him for 800K. So you would have to evaluate what cards are the best for you. I'm going to show you guys the card that I may end up dabbling with. All right, this free safety card right here, um, Marcus Williams, he is very, very good because on any theme team, he's going to be a 97 speed. He does not need to be with the Saints and he's gonna be doing whatever he wants. His hit power is pretty low um, when you're looking for somebody that's playing a sub linebacker because for me, I would probably put him at sub linebacker, but looking at this the way that it is right now, it probably would make sense for me to replace Eddie Jackson with him and just put him out there with 97 speed and just say, look, go to town. That's why his value is so high. So I don't know the type of teams that you guys have. I don't know how you're building your squad. I went over some of the pointers with my team uh, as far as the Raiders go. Um, and he would definitely be a decent addition because I rage so Ronnie Lott because he sucks. 
because of the fact that he's a zone archetype, if you wanted to put mid zone on him for one, you could feel free to do that as well. It's not something that you have to do because a lot of these players, they just play well. You know what I'm saying? So he would go to 93 plus five. He would be a 98 zone coverage. And I would probably play him in place of Eddie Jackson, um, opening up that speed from 95 to 97. So more than likely, the more that I think about it, I would probably be taking this card. Remember, it is a Nat card. So you can't trade it and you can't sell it. Make it last, make it be worth something. Um, DK Metcalf, as I showed you guys before, I'm not gonna dabble with him. He can moss and all that good stuff, but it's not a big deal because we already have two players that do it anyway, in Jerry Rice and Randy Moss. So as far as that goes, I would just leave it the way that it is and just keep it moving. All right, I wouldn't get excited about this card. I know the numbers are great, but if you're not a Seattle Seahawks theme team and you're not maxing them out at 99 speed, you know, it's not worth it for me. So I'm not gonna go there with it, but I know a lot of you guys have already had him. Yes, based on, uh, you know, labbing and stuff like that, he is, he, he can moss, but it's gonna cost you two AP for deep out. If you wanna do that, go ahead and it's fine. But the other archetypes like the, you know, the route runners and the deep threats, they get it for one. That's a major factor when it comes to ability points because you wanna make sure that you have enough. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy out here in these streets, uh, the way that it's working out. So I would be very, very careful with that. But all the prices and everything like this, um, it looks and appears that you would have a very, very high opportunity of being able to go ahead and get something that will really make your team a lot better than it already is. As far as the quarterbacks and Tom Brady, uh, Alex Smith and stuff like that, you guys can go, have, go ahead and have fun with that. Phillip Rivers, um, I don't, you know, Landon Collins is also another card, but you can see he's lower in price than some of the other guys. Um, you know, uh, Denzel Ward is a thing of the past. When he had that limited card that came out, I know a lot of you guys remember it. It was really, really exciting and good. Um, but now it's just like, all right, whatever, dude. Like, yo, you're just another guy uh, right now at this point. There's other corners that are way better uh, that you can utilize. So it is something that you should probably take a look at, um, you know, going forward, going through the rest of them. But I showed you, in my opinion, one of the cards that I believe is gonna be one of the better cards uh, throughout the entirety of this promo because that that 97 speed is hard to come by. You know what I'm saying? Like Marcus Williams, it, it's hard. So even though his price is coming down, you will still probably be able to get like 600 for him, uh, to be honest, because that's he just, he'll make it so that people can't run those beaters that much easier on you. Um, and you'll have a lot of opportunity to go ahead and take advantage of, you know, whatever you would like, um, you know, as far as the free players and stuff like that that's going to be going on. And somebody just bought Alex Smith for 614. Yeah, the Washington theme team is going wild. Um, you know, so th that's just something that I would uh, take a look at um, and see if that's what you want. If that is what you're looking for, you go after it. If not, be very, very careful with the free player that you choose because it's going to be a long time before you can put one of these cards into a, tr uh, you know, like a trade set. Like you're not gonna be able to go ahead and do any exchange sets with these guys for a while. Um, so I would be very, very careful. And you see, as we're going through the video, people are actively buying up uh, these cards. So just take a look at it. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, if it's something that you guys want, if it's something that you guys are looking to get, go ahead, go after it, have fun with it. Let me know the free card you'll be choosing. I will go ahead and bang out the rest of those challenges and I will get back to you guys as soon as possible with more info on understanding the sets and other things that come with this promo. Let me know if it's a W or an L. For me, with no money spent, I'm a hybrid, so I buy bundles sometimes and I you know, grind the game, obviously. It's a W for me because I'm getting a free 95. Let me know what you think about it. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. One love, y'all.